focus on? Customer outcome. That's what we want to be focusing in on. You know, we're talking about high profit prospecting. But think about this for a moment. Are we prospecting or are we just generating leads? And worse yet, are we generating leads that don't go anywhere? One of the problems I have with organizations today from a prospecting standpoint, and think about it, this is the number one issue that organizations deal with is prospecting. How do we get better leads? I get it, I get it. But the problem is we're getting bad leads. You see, we have to know who is our target audience. That's where we gotta be focusing our time and effort. We gotta be focusing. And what happens is we're spending way too much time trying to come up with leads that if you have a heartbeat, if you have a heartbeat, you are a lead. Well, let me tell you something, my dog has got a heartbeat. My dog ain't buying anything from me. But stop and think about that. Are some of your lead generation tools just developing names? and contacts, are they really going anywhere? I don't want employees, I don't want to work with suppliers and other people in my supply chain and, and, and see them as they are. I want to see them as what they can be. My objective as a leader is to demonstrate ego. Yes, leaders have ego, but it's not what you think it is. Ego, E-G-O, empowering greater outcomes. Think about that for a moment. Are you helping your people achieve a greater outcome? Are you helping your customers achieve a greater outcome? You see, one of the things that I look at in sales is, sales is, is a wonderful position, it's a wonderful job. Because what is it all about? It's about helping others see and achieve what they didn't think was possible. And oh, by the way, that's the same really definition of a leader. What's the definition of a leader? It's helping others see and achieve what they didn't think was possible. I love that. I love that. Are you doing that with your people? Are your people doing that with you? You see, leadership must exist at every level of the organization. Pricing is not a marketing strategy. You can't cut your way to prosperity. There will always be somebody who will come along and sell it a little bit cheaper than you. And one of the things that I go ballistic about is when I see salespeople out there who are offering up discounts. Well, we got to match the price. We got to match the price. And I'll tell you something, your job as a leader is to say, hold on, hold on. See, there's two reasons we offer discounts. One, because we don't believe there's another order to be had. Or two, we believe we'll make it up on volume. Oh, man, man, man. You see, price is not a sustainable competitive advantage. The only competitive advantage you have is your people. And here's what I firmly contend. Your salespeople will offer more discounts because of their own lack of belief, their own lack of confidence than will ever be given based on the demands of the customer. I firmly believe that. You see, if we're getting beat up on price, then we haven't, we haven't demonstrated enough of those questions. We haven't asked enough of those questions. Now ask yourself this question. Are you doing that? Are you helping your customers? You see, in today's marketplace, if you're not, there's no place for you. There's no reason for you, because you will be replaced by an app if you haven't been already. Yeah. You see, the challenge we have is, how do we help take our customers to the next level? This great expression here, this great here, here, C plus C equals C equals O equals P. Now look at the last P, it says profit. I love profit, you should too. Never run from profit. You can't price what you sell high enough. The only reason you don't price it higher is because you haven't delivered enough value. Now let's start at the bottom of the stairs, the first C. The first C is continuity. What is your messaging to your customers? Now, hold it. You say, hey, we're on social media. That's how we create continuity with our customers. Well, let me tell you something. Social media 
Without social community is social stupidity. Social media in, a, in and of itself is a waste of time unless you're creating a community and a connection. You see, social media lends you to social connection, which helps you avoid social stupidity. Now, let me just ask you this question. What are the questions you're asking? Now, here's something interesting. I don't want to go into a customer and ask them questions that they don't know, but I know. And that's typically what salespeople do. They go in and they, they ask customers questions that, that, that they can't answer, but they can answer because it's the way it's gonna make them look good. I'm, good. I'm so smart, stupid. Your objective is to ask your customers questions that they can't answer and you can't answer. Now stop and think about that for a moment. When you're asking customers questions that they can't answer and you can't answer, what does that do? That creates the dialogue, that creates the discussion. And oh, by the way, you're not gonna be in that position unless you've created that level of confidence. You see, sales is leadership. Leadership is sales. What is it all about? It's about with every conversation you have to earn the right, the privilege, the honor and respect to be able to meet with that person again. That's the mark of a leader. Because what does it do? It allows you to help them achieve a greater outcome. The definition of ego, empowering greater outcomes. You see, we influence and we impact people every day. Right here in this hotel today, we're going to influence and impact wait staff, hotel staff. Are you influencing and impacting them positive? People at your table, it's influence and impact. Sales is leadership. Leadership is sales. Thank you very much.